hello everyone so now we are going to do the lab so let's design the topology here so what i will do i will use this router 2813 here i will take one two three and i will take three switches we can say one two three and we will take here like two computer here two computer here two computer here and then we will take the automatic cable we can connect from here to here and from here to here from here to here this uh, router is having only two port so we will face some issue here like here to here two port already used if i try to connect from here to here you will get like this cable cannot connect to that port means this router is having only two port so how we can add the port how we can insert the line card in the real world we are calling line card so you have the empty empty slot here so you can purchase from the market lan card lc and insert here so here what we will do power of the router and this all are the module that is uh, lan card we can say if i click here you can see here this is a lan card which provide to fast ethernet so i need this one only so i can drag and drop like this which i taken i taken this you can take this or you can take this if you take this you will have the ethernet ethernet is having let, uh, little less speed compared to fast ethernet so for that purpose here if you take you have only one port if you take this you have two port with the ethernet you can see here 2e if you take this 2fe so two fast ethernet and you can see here also the description is written here so when we insert this one you have the two ethernet port if i click this you have two fast ethernet port so we can drag and drop from here or we can drag and drop from here like this so i drag and drop here and then power on so now we will have the port the new port which we added so before when we are doing that one without port it is giving the error but now i connected that one so now we can plan what ip schema we are going to give here and we can start doing that lab ip schema is simple only like i will use this site same thing what we use 192.168.1.1/24 so here we will give the gateway as a 1.1 and this site we will give this site 192.168.2.1/24 and then here this site i will write 192.168.3.1/24 so this will be the gateway to this site this will be the gateway to this computer this will be gateway for this computer and here i can change the name example here i will give r1 this is just label so we can give the correct label so it will be easy for us to track and do the configuration now here what ip we will configure i will write in between like 192.168.12.0/24 why i am using 12 i can use anything because here is 1 here is 2 so i am writing 12.0 so this is a network id we we cannot have any ip dot .0 we cannot assign like a any ip with dot .0 so instead of 0 you will have here this side 1 and this side you have 2 so i will configure this interface this interface which is connecting to router this side interface of 0 by 1192.168.12.1 here and directly connected should be in the same subnet so here is directly connected so here i will assign 192.168.12.1 here 2 here one i assign here two i will assign so in between i am writing as a zero but here will be one here will be two 12.1 12.2 and here here <coughs> i will write 192.168.23.23.0/24. What is the meaning of that one? Means here this interface F0 by 1. I will configure 23.1. This interface belongs to this router, and this interface belongs to this router. So F0 by 1 here. I will configure 23.2. Here is one. Here is two. Simple. we can take anything but this is simple to understand if we take new ip nothing any other thing then we will be confused by assigning so first we need to understand the concept so i am using the simple ip so easily you can understand the concept so this is the ip schema we wrote here now we need to do the lab 
so lab is simple i can give here i will write here like static routing lab with three router this is the title and now we will do the configuration r1 configuration i will write enable config t host name r1 and then interface we need to carefully observe here i am here in this router this interface should have 12.1 so i will write int f0 by 1 f0 by 1 and then i will write ip address 192.168.12.1 after that give space write subnet mask 255.255.0 and then write no shut then you have another interface interface f0 by 0 you will write ip address what we plan here 192.168.1.1 here we wrote here whatever we have that one i am writing give you space write 255.255.255.0 and write no shut that's all so this way we will assign the ip now we need to think we need to configure the static route so how we can configure the static route so you need to imagine you are standing here if you want to go here you need to send the traffic this side only if you want to go to this side also you need to send here only if you want to go this side also you need to send here only so how you will we will write means we will write like this we will write ip root this is the syntax then after that we need to write the <laughs> network id if you want to go this place so you need to calculate the network id so this is a ip if you remember this is a class c ip you have slash 24 slash 24 means three network portion you have one host portion so whatever the host portion we will make that zero so this one we are calling as a network id so now this is a network id so you need to write the network id here so 192.